Listen, I know for the past couple years my Halloween videos have been pretty lame or not existent, but don't worry. This Halloween, I'll make something delicious. Mmm. Bloody delicious, that is. And even though this is not real blood, YouTube's demonetization bot probably thinks it is. So do me a favor. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell notification icon, and support me on Patreon. Now, at the end, we're going to need some milk. However, blood does not have the same viscosity as milk. So, we're also going to need heavy cream. Okay, here's the ratio I use. Three parts milk, one part heavy cream. Uh, why did I have to clip my nails before this thing? All right, this seems like the appropriate viscosity. All right, next it's, well, pretty obvious, red food coloring. Uh, but a couple of bullet points. One, use food coloring gel. It's much more concentrated and it's gonna give us the exact shade of red we want. Two, buy it in a large squeeze bottle like this. And three, head to either Hobby Lobby or Michael's to get this stuff. Don't get this stuff off Amazon. It tastes nasty. Even though this is highly concentrated, you're gonna need a lot of it because blood has a deep, deep red color. Yeah, it's nice and red, but not red enough. Add more. Now for a final ingredient, chocolate syrup. Even, even though blood is mostly red, there's also a bit of dark tinge to it. So that's gonna be filled in by chocolate syrup. And uh, if you don't think chocolate syrup and horror mixed together, You clearly don't know your Halloween trivia. Anyway, add enough chocolate syrup until it darkens in color. Oh, and I give it a taste test. You don't want it too chocolatey. Oh, that's barely chocolatey. All right, revision. Add enough until it tastes like chocolate milk. Okay, this looks like real blood. And, uh... And once the final product tastes like chocolate milk, it's done. Good what about the blood bag in the video thumbnail? Yeah, 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 I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. Now thankfully, Amazon read my mind and they sell novelty blood bags. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Anyway, to fill one of these up, take our blood and pour it into a drinking glass. Then, using the syringe the pack came with, just Insert it into the tube like this and gently squeeze it in. Whatever you do, don't force it in, otherwise you're going to get a huge, leaky, bloody mess. And if your significant other walks in without any context, well, hopefully you have a good lawyer. No pirate fears the Red Sea, if you know what I mean. Okay, once the blood bag's full, clip it on with one of these. And pinch it close. Now wipe down the blood bag to get rid of any excess moisture. Because we're going to stick the sticker on it. And bada boom, your blood is ready to be donated to an empty stomach. The perfect drink for your Halloween themed party. Although I wouldn't be throwing parties what with everything going on right now. Not unless you want to get a huge medical bill. Now that's some real scary stuff. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking spooky and meaning it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. 
Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Come on, YouTube. Please re-monetize me. You know damn well this isn't real blood. Look, this product may only be used as a novelty product.